Imagine a tiny engine, not a steam engine, not a car engine, but a quantum scale motor composed of just a handful of particles, operating in a way that seems to defy one of the most fundamental laws of physics, the second law of thermodynamics. What would that mean for our understanding of the universe? Welcome back, wonderful person. You are watching Space 2 Theories, and if you love space, astronomy, and the mysteries of the universe, you're in the right place. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. In this video, we're going to explore how quantum mechanics might shake up, or at least rethink, the second law of thermodynamics through the lens of recent research on quantum heat engines and tiny motors. We'll take you through the classical version of the law, what these new experiments are doing, why physicists are both excited and cautious, and what the potential implications could be for physics, for technology, and maybe even for how we understand irreversibility in the universe. Part 1. What is the second law of thermodynamics? Let's start with the classical picture. The second law of thermodynamics states that in an isolated system, the total entropy, a measure of disorder or randomness, cannot decrease. In everyday language, heat doesn't spontaneously flow from a colder body to a hotter body, processes tend to move from order to disorder. Another way to put it, you can't build a perfect engine that converts all heat into work. There is always waste heat or inefficiency. The second law underpins our understanding of time's arrow, why things age, why motors wear out, why perpetual motion machines of the second kind are impossible. In engineering terms, it means that when you run a heat engine between a hot reservoir and a cold reservoir, you always lose some energy to the cold side. You can't get 100% efficiency. So, given how fundamental and well-tested the second law is, any suggestion that it might be challenged is inherently dramatic. But what happens when you shrink the system down to quantum scales? Part 2. Quantum Heat Engines Tiny Quantum Devices in recent years, physicists have built microscopic heat engines, devices where quantum systems, atoms, electrons, or very small numbers of particles act as working media. These quantum heat engines operate on the same basic thermodynamic idea, absorbing heat, doing work, dumping heat. But because the systems are so small, quantum fluctuations, strong correlations, coherence, and other effects become important. One recent headline, a team at University of Stuttgart claims to have engineered a tiny quantum engine that appears to outperform the classical Carnot efficiency limit in certain conditions. Another take. Quantum theory might offer loopholes to the second law. But crucially, those loopholes don't necessarily break the law. Rather, they require us to refine how we apply the law at very small scales. Specifically, when you have systems composed of a few particles, the statistical arguments behind entropy become more fragile. Fluctuations can be large. And when quantum coherence or entanglement are present, one can imagine engines that exploit correlations to extract more work than a classical engine would. But does that mean the second law is violated? Not exactly. The consensus so far, the second law still holds, but its classical form may need to be adapted. Part 3. What the research actually says. Challenged, but not broken. Let's get into the nuance. The popular headlines might say second law challenged or quantum engine defies thermodynamics. But the actual scientific message is more subtle. Quantum mechanics allows scenarios where work extraction is enhanced or where fluctuations play a large role, but overall, when you properly account for all reservoirs, information costs, correlations, etc., the generalized second law still holds. For example, our work demonstrates that despite these theoretical vulnerabilities, it is possible to design any quantum process so that it complies with the second law. In the University of Stuttgart example, while the tiny engine might exceed what a classical Carnot engine would do under some parameters, this is achieved by exploiting quantum correlations or coherence, so the efficiency benchmark is modified. So it's not about building a perpetual motion machine or totally reversing entropy. It's about discovering that when you scale systems down, the classical boundaries shift, but the core principle, 
entropy tends to increase. You can't get something for nothing, still stands, though you must include all sources including information, quantum correlations, measurement costs, etc. In short, the second law remains robust, but its textbook phrasing is too coarse for the quantum regime. Part 4. Why does this matter? Why should you care about a tiny quantum engine somewhere in a lab? Several reasons. For fundamental physics, it helps us understand how macroscopic thermodynamic laws emerge from quantum rules. It sheds light on the transition between quantum micro-world and classical macro-world. For technology, if we can design tiny heat engines or quantum machines that exploit correlations, coherence that might lead to ultra-efficient nanoscale energy devices, quantum computers with better thermal management, or novel sensors, for the philosophy of time and irreversibility. If entropy and irreversibility are less rigid at quantum scales, then questions about the arrow of time, fluctuations, and even cosmological origins of entropy become more interesting. For you, in extreme cosmic settings, near black holes, in early universe conditions, in very low-density interstellar gas, quantum and thermodynamic effects might interplay in surprising ways. That ties back to big mysteries of the universe. Part 5. Key Takeaways. What to Watch. The second law of thermodynamics remains one of the most reliable laws in physics. Heat flows from hot to cold, entropy tends to increase, you cannot build a cycle that converts all heat into work. But when you enter the quantum realm, very small number of particles, strong correlations, coherence, information effects, you can find situations where the naive, classical limit is surpassed. These quantum engines don't break the second law, they force us to refine it. For instance, include quantum information, correlations, measurement costs. The practical implications could take years to materialize, but the conceptual shift is already underway. If you're excited about the frontier where quantum physics meets thermodynamics, keep an eye on experiments in quantum heat engines, quantum information thermodynamics, and nanoscale machines. So wonderful person, what does this tell us? It tells us that our universe may still be stranger than we thought. Even one of the bedrock laws of physics has subtle wrinkles when you look at the smallest scales. The interplay between quantum mechanics and thermodynamics is a rich area for discovery, and as we build ever smaller machines, perhaps even quantum engines in space or ultra-efficient nano-devices on Earth, understanding these boundaries will matter. If you enjoyed this exploration, hit that like button, subscribe to Space 2 Theories, and stay tuned for more deep dives into space, astronomy, and the mysteries of our universe. Until next time, keep wondering, keep exploring, and remember, you are a wonderful person watching a channel that loves space as much as you do. Thanks for watching.